Hi, this is Janine Wright. I'm editor of Greenhouse Square Magazine, and I'm here again with Dr. A in Georgia. He's enjoying the sunny weather here, and in Ohio it's a little cold, but we're getting there. Alan, how are you doing today? <laughs> I'm doing well, Janine. I, uh, you know, we had such a fabulous, long, and wonderful, cool, beautiful, sunny spring, but summer's arrived down here, so we're going to be coming up there and borrowing some of your clouds and <laughs> some of your cool weather. But uh, yeah, we, we already hit the 90s. And we'd prefer not to be there, quite truthfully. But it's been good spring for everybody. I mean, the plant sales have looked awfully good. Uh, independent people are doing well. The box stores seem to be, you know, doing just fine. So can't complain. It's been a, a pretty good spring. You know, we've had rain, but that's, you know, rain is not a big issue unless you're getting floods. But, um, you know, when it starts to get real hot, then people start to think, think twice about getting outside. But in general, it's been very good. For sure. Yeah, well, we'll trade you weather for sure. So, so Alan, we're coming up on June. We just passed Memorial Day, and so we're definitely here, Gigi, thinking about the Medal of Excellence coming up. And we just announced the Industry's Choice one, um, which is the word where we, you know, a committee of you and I and growers, suppliers, and um, brokers, um, anybody, people who have attended spring trials, take a look at some of the plants. So we've been hearing back from them. We announced a few of the plants, so I just wanted to just like talk with you just real quick about some of them. So, you know, first of all, we've got we've got the Beacon Impatience and the Mara Impatience both in there, which is was one of the obvious choices. I wasn't surprised by that. Uh, what do you think? It's really hard with those because they do a lot of the same thing, which is exciting. But I think that's going to be interesting to see what happens with those two. Well, well, the and just just to sort of backtrack on your introduction, this is really a, a I'll say an important award, an award that has a history to it. It goes back a long way. And some of the, well, in fact, I would say 95% of the plants that has been chosen for industry award have gone on to great things. Uh, so we see these in, in trials and we see these in cast and we say, well, they look pretty cool. How are they going to do? Uh, in general, because of the people, <laughs> not you and me, but the people who know something are, are you know, casting their votes about what they see as a future of these plants. Um, it's, it's been good. Uh, and, and certainly the impatience we've been waiting and waiting and waiting for what people told us they were going to do, that is we have to breed our way out of this downy mildew problem. Uh, you know, eventually it'll go away if there's no impatience there, but we want impatience back. And as wonderful as begonias are, and they have been, and New Guineas are, et cetera, et cetera, uh, there is nothing to compare with, you know, our bedding and patients. And so those two series that you mentioned, Beacon and Amara, uh, I don't know how different they are. We've only seen them. But if they are even, you know, if they are downy mildew resistant to the point that people have confidence again, yeah, let's have three, four, five, six series of these. It doesn't matter to me. So I think it's all about building confidence of the landscaper and, of course, the gardener that they're they picking patience. They're picking something that they have a reasonable chance of succeeding with. So I'm excited to talk about both of these. I, I am too. I think there's, it's going to be really, it's just great to have those options coming in. One thing I noticed in the garden center this weekend, which I thought was just fascinating, is there was a lot of the, you know, bedding, bedding and patience plants, not these two um, series by any means. I was surprised how many in our garden centers they had out there, you know, a good full bench of different um, varieties and things like that. And hardly any of them touched, which was kind of interesting. So it, I wondered about the whole consumer confidence it, thing. I, I, um, I swear that's what it is. I mean, people, I tell you, we have certainly got the word out well that there is an issue with bedding and patients. We, we, we really did ring the bells and people listened. Uh, and hopefully they're going to listen equally well to the fact that now you can go out and buy some impatience that you will will do well with. And I think a landscaper is going to be the first to jump on these because they're so important for the work they do with you know, buildings, hotels, restaurants, a whole bit. They're so important to us. And I think if landscapers jump on this and people start to see them in the landscape again, then they will be going to the garden centers and saying, oh boy, I need impatience. But what you're seeing right now is the garden centers just saying, well, it's not such a big problem anymore. Uh, so I'll put some out and let's hope it's not a big problem anymore. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. 
And I think it's gonna be interesting to see with the two difference, if, if we see differences where the, the Syngenta, the Mars are a natural sport and the Beacon is an inoculated. I, I don't know, you know a lot about that, but I, it's fascinating to me that two companies have come out with kind of different approaches to it, and which I think is great. We have two options. I don't know if one will be better than the other. It's gonna be interesting to see. Well, the, the proof will be in the pudding. I, I, I think that, uh, and again, all we have done is looked at them in cast and trials and, and, and I think the people who are putting these out are, 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 you know, not just telling a story. They've trialed them. They've looked at them. They've, they've experimented with them. They're all, you know, both companies are confident in them. So I just hope that they keep other people confident. That, that it's all about building confidence back up again. And, 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 and I'm excited. And if one color is better than the other color, who cares? That's not the issue right now. The issue is can we succeed with impatience, betting impatience, like we did, you know, five years ago. Can, can we get back there? For sure. And I, I hope we can. So, you know, in future Shop Talks, we'll, we'll discuss some more of the industry's choice ones that we're hearing about from the committee and that are up for the finalists. And, and so check back soon.